Hey guys, I'm Camilla Ferrer with the Red Carpet Report. Tonight we're at the Forever My Girl premiere in West Hollywood. Thank you, thank you. Thank Out of curiosity, you. I know you're young. Yes. So how did you become part of the soundtrack? How did it feel to become a part of this movie? Well, how did I get involved? You know, <laughs> about two years ago or so, you know, I'm friends with Bethany and her son. Um, and I would just be hanging out in her backyard playing music. And she approached me one day and was like, hey, uh, Jackson, I've, I've got the screenplay to this uh, film. It's a country music film, and it's got some uh, it's got some music in it that I think that you could be a good writer for. And I was like, of course, you know, thinking that it was just going to be something you know fun that I could do for her and just kind of a trial and error. Let's try and see if I can get this down. And and it ended up being this amazing experience that I went through for a year and a half, two years. And um, I honestly think it's some of my best work. And uh, to be a part of a film. Um, that allows me to work on it with friends and who I consider family, I think is the coolest thing. You know, like th this all started for me out of a personal relationship that I had with somebody. And that just goes to show what this movie is about, personal relationships and growth and love and how it all just kind of serendipitously came together like that. I think it's an amazing thing. So where do you draw inspiration? I'm assuming relationship. Of course, you know, the, the, the cliche things, relationships and love and experience. But, uh, you know, I also draw relation, I draw, um, yeah, I draw inspiration from, um, from other artists as well. You know, I'm a huge Bob Dylan fan, you know, I'm a huge Towns Van Zant fan and some old, old country music from back in the day, you know, Johnny Cash and the Beatles, of course, and, you know, those artists, and I think the 60s in general were such an explorative time for music, and, um, you know, writing from a place of truth is a really big deal for me, whether it's about relationships or whether it's about redemption or catharsis or whatever it is, you know, um, it, it's not really about the subject more as it is about um, the progress and the experience and the process, you know, that, that someone goes through throughout life. Um, so I, I draw inspiration from truth wherever that might lie. Have you seen the movie yet? Oh, yes. I've seen it a couple times. Yeah. And I love it. I think it's fantastically done. I think you can just see the love that Bethany um, emanates, you know, through her directing. Like, she just cares so much. And I think it's very cool, you know, to see her um, so excited about a film that was her child and her baby. And everyone in this room and it, part of this production is such family. You know, the writers, the cast, the crew, everyone loves each other. And you can see it shines on screen. Congratulations, Jackson. Thank so good to much. see you, you again. Too, you too. Come on. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me what your favorite country song is.